towards your own life. My dad was right. I had to take charge. And after 20 more minutes of pouting, that's exactly what I did. But despite my best efforts, I was still no closer to figuring it out. I was going to have to see my work be torn to pieces one more time. I'd been so focused on mathematical perfection that I hadn't taken into account real-world elements. Wind can trigger vibrations. If these vibrations occur at a system's resonant frequency, then oscillation generates excitation, and a bridge can lose its structural integrity. Okay, I'm a genius again. I couldn't wait to hand in my paper and see the proud look on Professor Boucher's. No! I figured it out! It's wind! It's wind! Wait, so after all this time, that's your problem with engineering? Evidently. So all the teasing and all the abuse had nothing to do with me. I'll admit, at first I had a chip on my shoulder because of that class. But then it was mostly you. Unbelievable. When will I learn? I could give you that answer, but if you figure it out for yourself, it'll mean so much more. Goodbye, Sheldon. Bye. You wanted to see me, ma'am? Professor, I understand you locked Sheldon out of class. But he was late. That's my policy. I need you to do me a favor. Yes? Tell me exactly what his face looked like when it happened. Seriously? Don't paint me a picture. I want to feel like I was the one who closed that door. I'm going to sit for this. Okay. So he approached the door that smug look he has. Uh, I knew it well. Then, when he realized it was locked, his face fell into shock and disbelief. <laughs> nice. Show me. Do the thing. Oh, sir, you have turned my frown upside down.